What's up guys, I am Bradley Overrated and this is my overrated review of Metro Exodus. And man, what a game it was. Let's just get right into it now. And it starts by saying right now I'm not going to go into the previous two installments of the Metro series. I'm just going to talk about this one. Basically though, Metro is a post-apocalypse world where the world itself went through a crazy war. Lots of nukes were dropped, there's radiation everywhere, and nobody can live anywhere except underground. At least that's what they were told, but in this game you play as Artyom, a guy who believes that is not true and dreams of living outside of the metro, only to find out that he has been lied to and that that, in fact, is a reality and is possible. It is a really cool story with relatively good voice acting, although I am really confused why Artyom, the main protagonist, doesn't have a voice. He is technically a silent protagonist in the game, but also technically not. What I mean by that is he has a diary, and at the beginning of each chapter or section in this game, you can actually hear Artyom's voice, and he talks to you. And I don't understand why he will talk to you, and you can hear his voice in the diary sections, but you can't hear it in the game. It seems just out of place, because that makes him technically not a silent protagonist. And then if you've played any of the Metro games before, this game is very similar to that with a few differences. One of the big ones is there are sections in the game itself that are more semi-open as compared to the more linear progression of the previous Metro games, but that is awesome. I actually love this new game flow. You still get your linear progression sections, but at the same time, you have a change of pace with these semi-open worlds and the environments themselves are breathtaking. Keanu Reeves style breathtaking that just make you want to experience this world as a whole. As a matter of fact, there is a photo mode that allows you to capture the scenery around you and man did I abuse the crap out of that. I'm talking 40 to 50 screenshots of just the environments. They are awesome. I really appreciate the art style here. It's one of the best things about Metro Exodus. And the core gameplay, if you're a Metro fan, is still there. You still have the options of going balls to the wall with bullets or trying to sneak around your opponents and go for the stealthier approach. And in case you were wondering, also there's definitely a karma factor. There are two endings in this game and based upon your decisions and your actions in the game will influence the outcome and the end result in typical Metro fashion. I love it. I love it so much actually that I'm going to tell you right now that this is easily the best Metro game so far. It is just excellent from head to toe and it is unfortunate now that there were so many small things that kind of piled up that I didn't like about this game. For example, bugs and glitches and I'm talking a lot of them. Deep Silver, I don't know what it is with their games, while I really enjoy a lot of their products, they are always filled with a lot of bugs and glitches. I had this game crash three times during my first playthrough of the entire game. I had enemies going through walls. I had enemies flying in the air. When I knocked down an enemy, they'd just spasm and glitch out on the ground. I mean, there was just bug after bug and problem after problem, and in a game that takes 30 plus hours to complete, at least for me, because I was trying to go through everything in this game, you will notice a bunch of these bugs and glitches, and while it's not the biggest deal, having to deal with them time and time again is very annoying. And then there are a few more things that also bugged me. For example, sometimes I would be hiding behind a barrier, which was behind another barrier, behind another barrier, and then there was the enemy, and then the enemy could still spot you. Sometimes the detection radars for the enemies and for yourself just aren't quite as good as they should be. Also, sometimes the pacing just feels a little bit off, and there are a few moments, for example, you were on a train called the Aurora, and you're sitting there, and they're all talking, and all this stuff, and then the guy starts playing guitar, and then more talking, and then another incident happens, and then you stop playing guitar, and sometimes I just want to get on with the game, and sometimes I'm spending 10 to 15 minutes just waiting for the plot to finish up. And while I appreciate that approach of trying to give the characters more meaning, I would have really just liked to go back to throwing knives at people and shooting some things. But even with all of these complaints, I just want to get this 
straight across. This was on the Xbox One X that I was using it for. I don't know how this game performs on PC, uh, so I can't judge it for that. But I will tell you this right now, even with these issues, this game is wonderful. From head to toe, it is fantastic. The core gameplay is just riveting. You never know what to expect in this game. They throw everything at you, and that is why I am happy to still give Metro Exodus an A-, minus, and I was going to give it a B+, plus, but it was just so good. It's so good as a matter of fact that I am going right back in. I'm going to replay the entire game over just because of how excellent it is, so it gets an A- minus from me. It really is a great game. Give it a shot if you haven't yet. One of the best games I've played this year. And that, my friends, concludes this overrated review. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe button. Ring that stupid bell for notifications. And I will see you guys on the next overrated video. I am Bradley Overrated, out like a trout. Take care, guys.